Woo! Magic Animate version 3 is available right now. It's super quick, it's super simple, it's super easy, and it's super awesome, if I may say so myself. Now, talking of awesome, this video is sponsored by the equally awesome audio, but more on those a little bit later. So before we jump into it and I show you how it all works, I need to let you know there are two versions. There's a Magic Animate V3 free version, which is available to everyone, and it literally takes everything that was awesome about the V2 version and just makes everything better. But then there's also a paid Magic Animate V3 pack. That includes the same Magic Animate V3 tool, but then it also includes some additional tools which you can use to create your very own Magic Animate preset. And then it also contains a bunch of presets which I've created. There's currently about 70 in there at the moment, but there's gonna be more because I'm gonna keep working on it and keep adding more cool presets. Magic Animate Free is of course totally free. The super awesome paid version is $29.99 US dollars and it's available from MrAlexTech.com. Again, linked down in the description below. There's a brief description about what it does. You simply hit buy now and off you go. Now, I generally recommend that everyone starts off with the free version. Try it out, make sure it works well on your system, make sure you like it. And within the free version, there is an upgrade now button, which will take you directly to my website where you can buy the full version if you want to. Winner. So let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what's available to everyone in this brand new Magic Animate version 3. So for you free users, once you've installed it, it will sit within the effects library, Mr. Alex Tech, Magic Animate, and you'll see Magic Animate version 3. Whereas if you've purchased the paid version, Magic Toolkit, Magic Animate, and then we have the Magic Animate folder with Magic Animate 3, as well as our creator tools, and all of our presets. So let's grab the free one and we're gonna drop it on this footage here like so. In the inspector, Magic Animate, we've got all of the controls. So at the very top, we can change the center, the size, all of your standard transform controls. We've got motion blur, which we can toggle on and off, and we've also got drop shadows. We can disable the animations completely if we want to, which will get rid of all of the controls. And then we can also change whether we're doing ins and outs, only ins or only outs. This is really useful if you've configured the whole thing and then you've changed your mind, you just want to make it only do ins, you can do without having to untick a load of boxes. So if we want this to simply zoom in, we expand zoom, we tick zoom in and zoom out, hit play, and that's it. It's good to go. If we cut this in the middle, so now we'll simply have two clips, both with Magic Animate and they'll both zoom in and zoom out. This will of course work on any resolution and any frame rate. Within the zoom controls, we now have additional ins and outs. So these are the in and out locations. So previously, it would only ever start from zero, but now we can say I want this to start from 0.5 and end at about 0.8, and it will just do a little zoom like so. We can control the resting location and the out location as well. So you can have it do different things in and out. Down here, we've got delay time. So if we don't want this to happen right at the beginning, we want the animation to happen about a second in, we can just drag that up. It will sit at its in location for a second. Then it will move to the resting location. And then that will be mirrored at the end. Now we also have an anim length. So this animation is currently taking one second. If we want it to be quicker, we can bring this down. And it's a quicker animation. Now, if we want the timing to be different at the start and the end, we can click on this custom button. And this allows us to completely customize when these animations are happening. So we want it to sit at the in location, let's say for two seconds, and then it will sit at that middle location for a couple of seconds, and then we want it to go out at five seconds. Now, if we hit play, it'll sit at in, then it will go to our middle, and then it will finally go to our out. On top of that, you can also change the curve to change the animation curve, so how it looks, the acceleration. And if you want to get super fancy, change the curve to custom, and you can even set a custom curve. And you have all of those controls, all of the different ins, middle, ends, and all the time and speed controls for every single different element. Zooms, whips, spins, your pitch, dissolve, what else? Can't even remember. Width, height, which basically means there's hundreds, if not thousands of different combinations to create animations exactly how you want them. Pretty cool, hey? Now it's no point animating stuff in and trying to make your videos look cool if you haven't got any decent music or decent sound effects to go along with it, and that's where audio comes in. Audio is a music subscription service that has a highly curated catalog of music and sound effects which you can use for any project. 
and there's a huge selection of music to pick from, covering all genres from hip-hop, pop, electric, and even cinematic movie scores. There's even now Audio Originals, which is exclusive music you won't find anywhere else. Their Audio Pro license gives you unlimited downloads of all of their music and sound effects, and it's available for a special price of just 59 bucks for your first year. That's 70% off. But if it's only music you need, how's about a lifetime license instead? That's a lifetime license of all the music you could ever need, and that's just $199. Bargain! To get started, simply head over to audio.com forward slash Alex. There's a link in the description below and then use the code Alex70 at checkout to get that pro license or use Alex199 for that lifetime license instead. Winner. So let me give you a real quick demonstration of combining two different controls with different timings to create some cool effects. So we've got a brand new Magic Animate here and let's just toggle on some zooms. So it's just going to pop in like so. I actually want it to start from about 0.5 and end at 0.5. So now it's going to start from there and then fill the screen like so. But we want to actually delay that. So let's delay that by about one and a half seconds. So it's going to sit at this resting location and then pop in. And then if we go to the whip controls and we'll toggle these on, these have got much better now because you don't need to mess around with angles. You literally say, I want it to start at this location, rest here and then end here. So by default, this is just going to whip in. So now it's going to whip in, then zoom in, sit at its zoom location, and then it's going to zoom out and then whip across, making a really cool, simple animation in no time. Now you have pretty much all of the same controls for the mid animations as well. So we select the mids and then we enable mids and we've got zooms, whips and aspects. To enable perspectives, we just click on the little perspective box so we've got pitch, yaw and spin as well. These are a little bit more resource heavy so they're turned off by default. There's also a cool little wave effect if you want it. So let's say we want to do a little zoom. We've got number of loops and we've got a zoom scale. So let's put this about 5 and we want it to be a negative scale. So then we're simply going to have this zoom bounce kind of effect. At the top here, we've got some custom controls as well. So we've got continuous and then we've got a delay start and end. So at the moment, it'll take one second and then it will constantly do this loop like so. If we make the composition shorter, that loop's going to be faster. So it's going to make sure that it fits all five of those loops in. But what you can also do is change this to custom and then you simply set the animation speed. And what this will do is it will equally space out those loops so then you'll get gaps in between them but the anim speed will always be whatever we set it to. So let's set this to two loops. And what it will do is do one, and then it will wait, and then it will do the second one, like so. If that was three, it would instead do three loops, which are all perfectly spaced out like so. Combine all your different ins and outs with your mids to create custom animations super quickly and easily. I think it's cool. I think it's great. Remember, all of this is available in the free version. But what about those masks which I mentioned at the beginning? Let me show you. So we're going to jump over to the masks tab and then we've got a few options. Now this is really simple. Once again, we can choose whether we want an ellipse mask or rectangle mask. So let's just go to ellipse and there's our ellipse mask. Now by default, that's going to be static. But if we tick the animated box, it's just going to animate in and we've got the same animation kind of controls from the first page. So we can choose ins and outs as well as our starting, resting and end points. So a really cool effect that I like, set this to about 1.2 and then it will start off full screen and just do like that. Again, we can also delay the times and amend the curve if required. If we wanted that to be a rectangle, we simply change it to rectangle. We can change the aspect, the corner radius so we can get rounded corners. And at the top here, we can also change the inside mask location. So if we need to change that, we can. And we can also change the actual location of the mask itself. Then there's also a border. So if we toggle on border, we then get border controls. We can change the width as required, even add some glow and change the color, even changing the border to a gradient if preferred. I'm going to add my logo PNG on there. And if we grab magic animate, drop it on there, go to masks, don't actually enable a mask, simply enable the border and it's going to put the border around your PNGs. So you can actually get the border directly around any PNG really quickly and easily. You can see the edges are quite boxed. We change the filter from box to circle 
we get a circle kind of mask instead. And once again, we can change the width. We can adjust the size as well so nothing gets cropped off. Give it a bit of glow. And there you go. Once that's done, let's go to zoom really quickly. We've got our animation popping in just like that. Job done. You can drop the Magic Animate tool on videos directly on your timeline or PNGs, images. You can even drop it directly onto text plus titles to animate titles in as well. Or you can drop it directly onto an adjustment clip, which will then, of course, affect everything underneath. So that's the free main Magic Animate tool. But what do you get in this premium pack? What does your $29.99 US dollars actually get you? Well, it gets you the exact same Magic Animate tool. The main tool is exactly the same. I didn't strip anything out for the free version. So what instead I've done is I've built on top of that to create some custom tools, which makes creating your own presets super quick and easy. The main one I'm going to show you in this video is something called the saver tool. It's awesome. So I'm going to go to my magic toolkit, magic animate, and then my creator tools. Now there's a few different variations of these. I've explained them all on my website, which again is linked down below. The main one is this saver tool. So I'm going to grab saver and I'm going to drop it on this PNG. Now all of the controls look mostly the same. So we've got zooms, whips, spins, dissolve, perspective, width and height. So let's say all we want for this is that zoom. So this just zooms in. And then we also want to drop shadow on there. So we can put that on there and maybe adjust it to get it looking exactly as we want it. And if we just hit play, it's going to pop in like so. It's obviously a bit big, so let's just resize it. And let's say that generally speaking, this is going to sit in the corner like that. Easy peasy. We can go to mids and we can do mids if we want to. We can go to masks and we can do that. So let's pop on the border. We just change that to be circle so it's nice and smooth. Maybe just the size. Get this looking exactly as we want it. In this version, there's an admin panel and this is super cool. What it allows you to do is turn off all of the things that you aren't using. Now this is awesome for two reasons. One, it improves performance. Because these things are actually disabled in the background, it means that this will run smoother and render smoother. And then two, it also cleans up the UI because this will actually turn off those things from the front page, which means it's just easier to use next time. You can send it to someone else and they don't need to worry about what the controls do because they'll only see the controls they need. So I'm only using Zoom, so let's just disable all of these, which will make it run nice and smooth. Go to the controls. We only see zoom controls because that's all we're using. Perfect. And then there's a save area. Now to do this, you do need to jump into Fusion. So we're going to click on a little magic wand in the top right hand corner. Then all we need to do is we grab our node down here. We can use a keyboard shortcut, Control C or Command C, I think it is on Mac. Or you can right click and just go to copy. And then within the inspector area, we can choose the type. Is this an effect, title, transitional generator? This one's an effect. What folder do we want to put it in? I'm going to create a new folder called user presets. And then I give this a name, logo, bottom, right. And then we simply hit save. Now we get a message pop up saying it's complete. It says you may need to restart DaVinci Resolve, which sometimes you do have to, but let's see if we got lucky. We'll jump back over to the edit page. We'll delete this one from this PNG. We'll go to magic toolkit, magic animate. We now have a number four user presets with a logo bottom right. We drop that straight on there and in no time at all, we've made this animated preset which sits in the bottom right hand corner. It's got our zoom controls. It's only zoom that we can see and it's got our border. Super quick, super easy. Never have to mess around with keyframes. Never have to mess around with macros ever again. And once you've made that one preset, if you then want to make another preset off the back of that one, like a variation of it, you just add that one to your timeline, repeat the exact same process, and now you've got two presets. But what about the presets I've made? Well, I actually used that saver tool to create some more variations of different tools. So there's one which has a fake depth of field effect like this, which is really cool for slideshows or just demonstrating certain things. I've added another one which has got a background node on there so you can do a little reveal. There's another one which has got text as well as a background node, so you can do sidebars and top bars, lower bars, all that sort of thing. You take all of those presets, all of those tools, and it allows you to create literally hundreds of different presets. Now, this is a version one that I'm releasing at the moment. It comes with about 70 presets. I'm going to keep making more and more presets to make this tool, this pack, really big and really awesome. At the moment, we've got face cams, reveals, 
simple animations, logos and text transitions, slides for slideshows, and text reveals. So let me show you really quickly. We've got a text reveal. We just drop this straight on our footage. No messing around. Hit play. Our footage moves over to the right hand side. We can actually slip that mask as well to make it so that we stay centered but move over nicely. We go to color. We've got a background color control so we can change this to be whatever sort of gradient we want. You can even select custom background which allows you to add an image. So let's grab one from my media pool. We'll just drop that in there. And now we've got a custom background within our background thingy. So let's just move that further so you can see. Ta-da! Pretty cool, right? Then if we go to the text column, we've got all of the text controls. So we could just come in here and change this to be whatever we want it to be. Customize this exactly as you want it. Then you can go over to the save page and save this as your very own custom preset. Let me just grab a cool photo that was taken at ResolveCon and I'll demonstrate one of the slides. So let's just go with slide BG bordered with a background. Drop that on there, hit play. Comes in out of focus, pops in, border. We've got a drop shadow, we've got a gray background and then it whips out at the end. Some of these ones, like the slides for example, have versions. So you can see this one asset has four versions. This comes in from the left, goes to the right. If we go to number two, it just does the opposite. Number three, like so. Let's get rid of that one. Just do one more. Slide two with a background, no border. And we've got this really cool slide in seconds. Easy. And that, ladies and gents, is Magic Anime number three. Both the paid and the free versions are available to everyone, whether you want the free version or whether you want the cool stuff within the paid version. As mentioned, the paid version is kind of a version one at the moment. There may be some bugs that I'm working out, but I'm gonna keep trying to make it better and better and gonna keep adding more and more assets. And last but not least, this is the first of five preset packs which I'm currently working on. So there's Magic Animate and then there's gonna be a bunch more. Each one is gonna contain something that's available for free for everyone. And then we're gonna build this magic toolkit so that it contains loads of awesome stuff to save all of us loads of time. Let me know what you think. Can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.